Hey everyone and welcome to a new video series, a new build up project by me, Basekeeper. This time, as you can see, it will be not a base building video, so this time we will take care about an ordinary guitar. Um, yeah, as you can see, we have here a full guitar now laying around. So, and yeah, this will be, will be the start of this new project. Um, yeah, this time I will not go so deep into the details of everything um, as we had in the last series a huge amount of videos. So I will try to reduce this this time and shrink this a little bit more. Um, hopefully this will work out. But of course, for the start, you need a little bit more of detail, a little bit more of information. So to get an imagination what we want to do this time. So yeah, as already said, this time this will be not a bass building project. It will be a guitar building project. So, and this time I will use my very, very first guitar I have ever bought. So, this is a Stratocaster copy rebuild by the company Donna. So, um, a couple of days ago it came to my mind, why not building a complete new guitar, but this time not out of a do-it-yourself kit, or something like that, I will use my very first own guitar I have ever bought. So, um, this means this time we will do something completely different out of it. So, um, the plan is we will disassemble all of the stuff. So, we will remove uh, the bridge, we remove the tremolo bridge, the output jack, all the knobs, the scratch board, the neck and headstock will be disassembled, um, the tuning packs, everything is going out, so even the belt holders and all that, this, I have everything in separated parts. This is the first step what we will do. Um, I will also not really throw away, but I will keep them away, so the Ernie Ball strings here, because I have a complete different thing in my mind. Um, so we will use again, in the end, this is the plan to use again the R strings here, so because we can get colored strings out of the R. So, uh, and the plan here is that we will sand down the complete red painting and clear paint out of the body so that we get back to the original wooden body to get something new out of it, of course. So, um, plan is to go onto a blue coloring this time. So, I'm not really sure if I will use a brighter or a darker blue. Um, but the plan is after a blue painting that we go over with an airbrush and a white coloring. So that we just have a real fine dust layer over the body, so to get uh, some kind of an, of an frost effect, so that it looks a little bit more like ice. So the reason behind it is that I have really some weird ideas now in my mind what I, what I want to do with this thing here. Um, I will create a complete new scratch board. So this scratch board will be made out of this plate here. This is a polycarbonate plate, so um, which is a little bit shining through underneath, so you can't see that. It looks really, really solid, but it is um, it is more or less a little bit transparent. So it, it's it's a little bit like a frozen glass. So um, and the plan here is to cut out a complete new scratch board, which is then similar to the original one. Um, this will be a huge bunch of work. I never created an own scratch board before, so I will use this as a template, which I will lay in both. 
So marking all the holes for the screws, for the pickups, the cutouts for the pickups, so of course for the knobs, for the switch and everything. So and I'm not really sure how many space I have underneath the scratch board, but the plan then is, as you can see, I have some kind of things here. So first of all, so we have a bunch of, of switches here. You see we have here some switches, so which will be not really sure placed somewhere maybe here or maybe here or maybe not really sure maybe here so I'm, I'm not really sure where I will place the, the switch. The reason behind the switch is the plan for the other things so as you can see I have here a huge bunch of different LEDs so in very different coloring. I will go with the blue ones. As a power source we will use a 9 voltage block battery here. Also I have the connectors here for the block battery, so for the soldering stuff at the end. So which means the battery must be placed somewhere here maybe. So, and then the plan is to place a couple of LEDs into the body, so into the holes which are here, so maybe I have to expand the holes a bit so that we make a, a tunnel somewhere going here and here and maybe also to the sides. So, um, not really sure how deep I have to go for these tunnels. Also, I will make a bit more space if needed here in these parts. So, and then we will at least place somewhere between seven or eight LEDs, which will be placed around the body or in the middle or somewhere else. So that is what I have to test before, of course. And when we then have our poly plate here, which is then laying over, the light from the LEDs will shine through and I hope that the complete new scratch board will then shine in a nice blue coloring. Due to the white frosted color of this plate it should give a little effect even like, like frosted, frosted lightning if, if you can can call it like this um, and yeah this is is my plan so um, and then you can use the switch which will be placed somewhere as I said and then you can turn on and off the light yeah the first step now will be the complete disassemble of the guitar so we will remove the strings we will remove the screws and everything not all the parts are here by now. I'm still searching for a good um, set of, of pickups. This will be really expensive. The, the pickups at least will cost more than the complete package of this guitar. Of course, it was all the time this case. <laughs> um, so I guess we are laying around somewhere between 200 and, and 250 bucks for the pickups at least. I will use again new knobs will come, so new caps for the knobs will come, maybe a new switch will come, not really sure. The bridge will be the same as now, because the bridge is fine. Maybe I will replace the screws and use different ones, not really sure by now. Also the output jack of course will stay, so and all the other parts even. And then we will place all the stuff up, so I have never worked with three, with three pickups, uh, three switches, uh, three, three turning switches and um, yeah, an output switch for the different pickups. Never have done this before so this will be also again a new experience for me when the solar ring comes up. Um, but I'm pretty sure I can handle it somewhere so it works out in the last bus build. 
where I was using two pickups um, together with four turning switches and also a three-way switch on the the uh, top here so for for the uh, pickup output um, that was working also pretty fine so um, I have a lot of experience in soldering so um, but this will be a new experience for me so this will be complete a new project a new way of getting feeling for for new techniques and all that stuff as in everything so um, we will see what comes out so also the plan is then maybe to modify the headstock a bit that we're making a little different shape here we have not really really much material which we can work on um, otherwise we getting into the risk that the headstock will break on one point when too much pressure comes on it so um yeah, this will be fun. So we will use these turning packs, uh, these tuning packs again. Um, also these small string holders here will be used again. But I guess I will, yeah, may cut out here a bit and, and make it a little bit more similar to my very first base I ever built. So this was a real unique headstock. Um, but we will see. So, um, yeah, I will start with the with the disassembling. So, um, as this is really quite annoying to see, so uh, you can see the final result in the next video. Hope you will be again with me when we are continuing on this and until it's time for it, I would say have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye!